In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Access Slicer to display a to your doc name. Sir. So you can choose a letter to filter. So in this case, I have some customers. Then I would like to choose their based on their first name or their display name and the data should filter. Let's get started. So I have the data here. I have the data first name, last name customer display name purchase here so first of all i need to get their first character of their name so so here customer display name letter so this is a new column that uh, i'm going to use it then i'm going to use a function called the left function which is this is a uh, to get the leftmost characters of a given string then how many characters i want so i want one character from this then use this then you can drag that so the the data is uh, the formula is copied to the rest of the cells so now use the control c then right click then paste as values so that now this cell is no longer a formula if we look at the here in the formula bar is going to show you the the uh, data rather than the formula now select this data by holding the shift key and then control key to choose to choose this control t for create a table then click ok so now you've got some uh, uh, data here so you can give some table name if you, in case if you want to give so for example i'm giving some table name uh, customer data so now click on insert but insert um, uh, option from the ribbon bar then click on insert then pivot table click ok so it's going to put the, the pivot table into the new sheet so here you got uh, first name last name customer display name purchase here customer display name letter so these are your fields that you can add into a report i'm going to use the insert slicer option so i'm going to choose all the option of the fields so the fields will come display here so that you can organize them then yep i just i don't want this uh, grid go to the view then change the grid lines uh, untick this grid line options so in this case if you choose if you choose only the customer names that starts with uh, d for example so this automatically the data will come onto the top here then the rest of the data is grayed out uh, so if you want to see the customer names with uh, n then you can see n you can see with p like that now i want to change this uh, column width for this especially this for this uh, slicer so select the slicer go to the options the number of columns that you how many that you need then you change that that's it really then if you click on a then it displays like this so if you want to see if you want to add some more visualization so let's say for example click on the pivot table area then click on analyze option then you can see this is a pivot chart so i'm going to use a pivot chart column type pivot chart then okay so for example, I would like to know uh, which customer, uh, uh, how many customers uh, did they purchase the items in 2016. So I'm going to filter purchase here in the filter options. Then I want to know how many customers. Uh, so I can use a customer display name as a count. So if you look at this, and it's going to show you some data but i'm going to add some more uh, data labels so right click on the graph go to here then add data labels so if you unfilter everything then if you go to here then let me get rid of this so there is no filters here so you can see the filter is uh, no filters if you want to know total customers that they purchased on 2016 then you can see there are 12 people 12 customers and 2017 it's a 5 then 2018 
15. So how do you know uh, who are these uh, 15 people? If you want to drill down and if you look at this uh, uh, the pivot table here, then you got the 15 here. If you double click on that, then it will go, it will, it will take you those who are those uh, 15 users. So this is a temporary sheet created and if you don't want it, just to delete them, then okay. I would like to thank you for watching this video.